We know that overseas visitors to London on average spend about £80 uh, per visit, in excluding accommodation, and that's, that's per day. And for domestic visitors, that figure is about £60 per day. Um, and people spend, you know, spend their money while here in London on a variety of things, whether it's like food, obviously accommodation will be a big factor, but also, you know, uh, you know spending it on things to do in London, whether that's the theatre, shopping, um, and, and those kinds of activities. Tourism is one of the largest industries here in London. It's worth about £16.5 billion each year to the local economy and employs about 260,000 people in full-time jobs. In 2007, the top five attractions here in London were the British Museum, the Tate Modern, the National Gallery, the National History Museum and the London Eye. It's very expensive for a tourist because like staying the rent, the like what you pay for hotels, what you pay for food, what you pay for tourist places, it's expensive. It's like you can visit it for like a week or so, but unless you own here, it's expensive. We are on a school trip from Germany and we're visiting London for one week. And we just arrived today, but we are already had to spend a lot of money for the underground for, and for the yeah, for various things the food is pretty expensive compared to Germany The British Museum is actually the number one UK tourist attraction, um, which is a fantastic achievement. Um, and it's really, um, I mean, the museum is a wonderful place to come and learn about the whole world. The museum is a world collection. It features objects from across time, from all countries, all civilizations. And it's really only in a museum like this that you can travel the whole world just in, in one afternoon. And I think that's a, a fantastic experience. And it's something, obviously, that both tourists and Londoners are very keen to take part in. The British Museum has always been free. Um, in our 255 year history, we've, we've never charged to see the collection. Um, but certainly some museums and galleries in London did used to, used to make a charge, although now all of their collections are free to the public. Well, London's always been probably one of the most expensive cities in the world, so the tourists had to be a little bit creative about how to make their money go further. Um, for things like transport, if you're staying for a while, you should get an Oyster card um, from any tube or train station. That makes a lot of savings on your, on your travel. Um, if you're eating, maybe think of going to bring your own bottle places so you don't have to pay for alcohol, which is incredibly expensive. Um, or get pre-theatre dinners. Um, which is sort of at 6.30, set menu, and a lot cheaper than a la carte. There are things like the London Aquarium, which are, which are very good, but also very expensive. But if you go down to um, Forest Hill in South London, there's the Horniman Museum, and they've got a free aquarium there. So it's doing things like that. It's thinking a little bit more creatively. So instead of going to London Zoo, you might go to the zoo at Battersea Park, which is, which is great, good fun, beautiful park, and about half the price. <laughs> 